Welcome back to the Sentai Review. We are back on the microphones, so like, you know, we have some quality and whatnot. Mics. Anyway. Reploid Bill William Bush. Sud Level Saria. Scott Action Jackson. Shane McCree, Proto Guy. Now we're going to drop that contact information and talk a little bit again about the movie. Hey guys, I know you're about to get your podcast on, so I'll be quick. If at any time you feel like dropping your own opinion into what we're talking about, head on over to FandomNight.com and all of the contact information for every single one of our shows, including the one you're about to watch, is there. Alright guys, I'll leave you alone. Welcome back to talking about the movie, which seems to be a very common thing lately. A little bit. Yeah, gee, I wonder why. They oh, dropped some by new the way, pictures. Well, I was about to say, by the way, real quick before we get to the pictures, we also picked up extra uh, extra microphone cords, so now there won't be random bullshit going on in the background sometimes. Uh, there'll still be shit going on in the background. Well, yeah, there will there. be some, but I mean, like, voices. Now, welcome oh. to E.T. Alpha. Because yeah. I swear he looks like a robot version of E.T. Yeah. He, looks, yeah. he looks pregnant. For me... When he I needs first, to phone Zordon. When, when I first <laughs> saw this, it, it was mostly the arms and the hands remind me of like the very first War of the Worlds when the creature was reaching out. Eh, kind of see yeah. it. Just kind of, now my mind is kind of stuck with what I just said. Because if E.T. phones Zordon, is that like a sex line? Because our Zordon is not necessarily PC. Our Zordon PG. isn't. No. Oh. Either way. Yeah, either Kirby way. Kirby Zordon is not. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, Bill, but I am digging this alpha. This is a... Right. Oh, trolling Shane again. Nope, not this time. No, look at him. He looks bad. He really does. I, every time I see something from this movie, it's one extreme to the other. It's either I'm going to be okay with this or I'm going to I'm going to let it go and we'll see how it works. But what did they do? And he's got a tummy. All right, I'm going to introduce myself. Go ahead. My name's Amanda and What the fuck is this? What is this? It's suppo- robotic ET. This is supposed to be the Why? Alpha 5 for the new movie. Because why are they changing everything? That's what I want to know. Because fuck you, that's why. Because they need an alpha it's Hollywood. that can ouch heal. That's not a Hollywood. good reason. Hollywood is the reason. Yeah, be, like I said, fuck you, that's why. Now alpha can be why like, ay, ay, ay. Because he is does he have do eyes that? on the side Dude, of his Is he going to do that? I hope so. The original version, he, it was a saucer. Yes. Oh, man, yeah. yeah. Is that's a question. That better. What is he going to sound like, and will he ay, ay, ay? ay? Oh, well, considering I, I, the I, I, fact I that it's sad. look, considering the fact that it's Bill Hader is doing this, oh. there's a possibility of I I I. Oh. But the only thing I can assume from maybe one. voice would be I don't know. Look up a random ass future Scott. Put in random ass Bill Hader movie here from when he was doing a fucking kids movie in a kids movie voice. So I have an honest Check. question here. Let's remember Green with Evil. By the way, special episode coming up. Let's remember <laughs> Green with Evil. In Green with Evil, Alpha is damaged, and Billy repairs him. Look at this thing. You Does Billy you, have a degree in robotics now? You can't put a disc in that thing and damage it. Right, that's what I mean. So if this thing is damaged, this is a hardcore new age, like way more advanced than anything we have on our planet upgrade. Okay. Not that Alpha wasn't, to be fair, yeah. but at least when you opened him, he gave me the impression of, like, uh, uh, Johnny Five. Yeah. You yeah. know, he had yeah. the switches and the levers, and it was understandable technology inside of him. Not that we could actually do it yet, if you were but a major it was tech understandable guy, yes. technology yeah. inside of him. I just noticed this. I don't know if anybody else has noticed this, but at the top of the saucer, which, which is supposed to be his head, I guess. The dome head. Looks like a globe. Yeah, I think yeah. that's some sort of... See, that's another thing, too. I think that's like a positronic thing. like Kind of like how Data has the positronic brain. They're trying to yeah. pass off a globe as yeah. something futuristic. I think that's what's housing his PC. So essentially... Uh, so essentially now, however, mind. hold on. It's probably... But, and, of course, they're not going to explain the science, because this is well, of course you know, not. Power Rangers. But, but we've already gone over this before. You take a power coin... You can instantly do 3,000 reps in a day. You mean about Billy ball? is able to make 
a fucking wristwatch that can right. tell you the time, be a universal translator to languages from planets we have no idea even exist. And teleport you. And teleport you. So once he gets a power coin, he yeah, smart. Billy might be able to fix up a fix up a alien and alpha. The, um, the two um, orange eyes. Those yeah, but eyes. even that was understandable technology. The yeah. watch might have been ridiculous, but if you were to open the watch, which he's done in other episodes, it's yeah. just like it's just like a chip yeah, and a, a couple of wires couple, and yeah. stuff. Look at this guy. Yeah. This There's nothing like no. this on our planet. Like, if you had to get inside this dome, that looks like some sort of weird gel or some sort of biological, like, yeah. matter. Like, you're talking, like, Star Trek Voyager biocomputer. Like, it's not understandable at all. There's no way he would have a degree or any form of understanding that would help him build Alpha again. Uh, Bill? What? Can you zoom in on the chest? Oh, I can always zoom in. Preparing to zoom in! I was going to say, it kind of looked like a lightning bolt there at first, but... No, they got rid of his awesome lightning bolt. Yeah. That's another thing, too. His design... They got rid of everything awesome that was Alpha. I mean, okay, let's be honest. Alpha is taken from the 1950s, like... Robot. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah. Okay, he's very much danger, danger, Will Robertson. He has the yeah. dome head, which is taken danger, right out of something danger, from Lost in Space. He has the, yeah. he has the, his like arms were, uh, his arms were, uh, you know, uh, uh, what is that tubing called? Uh, they use it on like washers and dryers and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about yeah. because it's still on the fucking dryer at my house right now. Yeah, they used that yeah. to cover up his arms and shit. Like, he was very much a 1950s robot. And in a way, that's a commendable little throwback to the history of movies. So you kind of let it go. You say, that's kind of cute, and you move on. Yeah, whereas this seems to be more like a throwback to the alien from fucking... Independence Day, only minus the tentacles. It does kind of look like that, too, doesn't it? It just doesn't have the Ripley Scott head. Yep. Yep, yep. Now, now that he said that, I'm yeah. looking at it now. I'm kind of seeing that, yeah, too. Seeing uh, it as well. You're Next. welcome. <laughs> His oh, butt! Backside. He's got no butt. Let's, oh, man, they took away Alpha's butt, man. So look at that. I'm sorry, that gold, or gold, that fucking silver kind of looked like a uh, actually the fuck was wearing the fucking outfit, just had his as, underwear hanging As out ridiculous as this is, Alpha was designed for sitting. Yeah. Look at his butt. He LOL'd too much. He has those, uh, he has that not non-slip padding here. Yep. So he could sit down. Alpha was designed to sit. That's always a good thing to be able to sit down. You don't want to stand all the time. It's true. It's true. Uh, you don't up. want to zoom stand in, all the time. Zoom into the neck. Do, 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 Look. Do, do. They literally took the shock off of somebody's truck and made it a neck. <laughs> you no see, I think I'm are... right. That orb, that orb is some sort of like... It's some sort of liquid, and it probably yeah. suspends some sort of CPU. It's like a bio. It's chill. also the it's yeah. also the same kind of stuff that's in his eyes. Yep. It's um. Of course, at the same time, that's probably the same shit that's in their chest on the costumes. Next. Nope. Uh, side double by shot. Side of front and back. Um. No. I'm also wondering about his size. Like how big? Is Think he's about be? crotch level. I would guess crotch level, but if they want to try to make it more... I would say middle of the chest. Because I'm, say, I'm saying he's probably like a uh, like a seven-year-old kid, maybe. I, I say five, too. I'd say they could do oh, either Oh, you think he's or. about five feet? You really think so? No, the, if anything, he's probably he looks, about four, nine. I'm getting, I'm getting E.T. off of this guy. Like, I really think he's going to be like the size of E.T. He's going to be a tiny, tiny little dude. Yeah. If there's a max height to this, like I said, it'd be about four nine, and that's from the top of the fucking biogel dome for his head. Yeah, this alpha is just just. I'm just curious because he's gonna have to work on the computers and crap like that. And then when Alpha's damaged, how much back pain does it take to work on the computers in the command center? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, because that means that's that motherfucker's true. gonna be stretching across the room. Billy, quick! I'm we need dude. you to check something on the computer. Fuck, hold on. Let me go get a goddamn extendo grippy hand. 
Yeah, I'm about to say because he can. Well, Alpha's got longer arms. Well, he'll now, re- so. he'll yeah, re- Alpha he does. Re- we don't. He can yeah, re- but, he can but, Alpha but, can but depending on how big he is, standing. yeah. But if he's tiny, if he's tiny, you would have to bend over every computer panel. Bill, well, yeah, there's to that help too. him work. You're gonna, you're gonna fucking shit a brick if you find out that he's like a Wait. seven foot tall fucking robot. Hold up, hold up. Right. What do you mean you're gonna have to bend over the computer? You sit your ass down in the computer chair like you got now, and you pull the thing and drop it all the way to the floor. Yeah, in the command center where Alpha does all the work, unless he really is designed for sitting, there's no chair in there. Yeah, it's kind of true. Next. Yippity doo dah. Next. Bill Hader as Alpha 5. Hey, look, ninjas. Next. Oh, a little bit of a side by side. Look at this comparison. Yeah. Really take it in, guys. Yep. Look at it. Mm. There's nothing reminiscent at all about this. I I have tried. Fucking Hollywood. I have tried over and over and over and over. I have been as positive as I can about this Power Rangers movie. But you can only go so far from the source material before you're causing problems. There's no lightning bolt. The colors aren't even right. C- yeah, could you have at least kinda. given us... Oh, he's got crimson, dark, dark crimson. He needed well, yeah, red. Well, Hollywood needs to be dark. He needed red no, or like a copperish the chrome. Exactly. They're too he needed dark. it. And no. it's, it's, I don't even know if it's just the dark. It's, it's too far removed from the source material. Yeah. It's too far removed. It, the one anybody, thing they got from source material is a saucer head. I'm yeah. going to promise you right now, I'm going to promise you right now, 100%, I could take this image, go out to the street, interview at least 40 people randomly that saw Power Rangers as a kid, and say, have you ever seen this robot? Nobody will say it looks like, it kind of reminds me of Alpha. Nobody will say it. Nobody. Not one person. And if I do, maybe I'm going to say out of 40 people, I might find two people that say, uh, it kind of reminds me of that Alpha from Power Rangers. Maybe. And I bet you I'm stretching it hard with that. There is no fucking comparison here. The only way that they're going to say that is if they're on the fucking internet and they read all the movie fucking headlines from Hollywood. Right. And they're like, oh, yeah, I've seen that picture. That's the new Alpha 5 from the movie. Cool. Thank you for your time. We're not going to use you. I mean, removing yourself this far from the source material, it's like they want... It, and here's the thing too, and I don't, I don't really want to think this way, but I have, I have no choice but to question it. Do you think maybe Saban wants to distance themselves from Power Rangers? I mean, look at all the material that's come out: Iron Man, Transformers, this thing. I don't think it's a matter of they want to distance themselves from Power Rangers. I think what they're doing is what everybody else is doing: find something that works and copy it. Well, what here's is this from here's my thing. Though. Every other fucking sci-fi movie from the goddamn '90s. I've already said it. The body looks like the same fucking body from Independence Day. It also kind of looks slightly like a xenomorph, not entirely, but bits and pieces. The saucer looks like your st- like stereotypical fucking saucer head from a. B-grade fucking Sharknado piece of shit <laughs> cocksuck movie on the Sci-Fi Channel. Okay, oh, yeah, no. silly fi But really, yes, yeah, silly. Really, I, I, I get this feeling. I get this feeling like Marvel took off, and yep. they want to do the same thing, and they don't feel like Power Rangers can do it. But with the name, you might get that audience. Yep. And with the look, you might pull in the Marvel crowd. And then they have something. I, I'm i starting to think that maybe they're trying to distance themselves from the original material and have just enough, and I'm talking like the name and a small aesthetic, yeah. that pulls in us. That yeah. might cost them. That'll probably cost them a lot. But it could also save them. Because yeah. there are other people, and I know this, I know this, honestly, I know this from... 100% personal, personal, um, how do I put this, uh, I, my neighbor, my neighbor is excited about this movie, because she watched Power Rangers as a child, watched it for two seasons, and has never seen an episode since, so when she hears Power Rangers, and she sees this, and the only thing she has is vague memories of what Power Rangers was, this is really cool. She says, 
I'm, I'm fucking looking forward to that Power Rangers. Have you seen it? It looks so awesome. I haven't seen Power Rangers since I was a kid. Yeah, and here's the sad part. We all live this shit because of the show that we fucking do. So all these people that kind of remember Power Rangers, they grew up with it, they were done with it even before Zeo. Yep. They're going to see the name... They're going to hear that it's a big movie. They're coming back. Yep. Uh... There's just enough Power Rangers here to draw the crowd in. Not necessarily enough to make it Power Rangers. Yep. I hope I am wrong. I'm going to see the movie. I know I will, because I watched Fantastic Uh, Four. I kind of void my right. Sadly. Sadly. Well, I was about to say, I'm going to need to borrow some money, but considering the fact that I didn't see Dragon Ball Evolution, Fantastic Four, the new one, I didn't see the new Ghostbusters, and I didn't see what's, what's the fourth one that everybody bitches about that's new. Well, right now, you've just hit a trifecta of awful, so please hit that quadra. Yeah, I can't think of what the fuck another one is. But like I said, considering everybody's like, fuck these movies, all they're doing is they're taking the name and making shit out of it. I haven't seen any of them. Not a single fucking one. So I'm going to need to borrow some money because I'm probably going with you to see this Mm -hmm. since I need to enjoy some form of disappointment (laughs) since I've been skipping out on it. Now, here's the thing. Well, you got until March anyway. I hope I'm wrong. I hope that this movie is fucking great. I hope that I see it. And I'm like, that was awesome. Do I, realistically? No. I have a feeling, I have a very negative feeling. This is a terrible way of thinking, but if you go in there with no expectations, you can't be disappointed. But that's impossible. It's impossible because I grew up on Power Rangers. I still have it on my shelf. And we review it. Weekly, well, I'm not, <laughs> I'm it's not impossible just, I'm not, to step away. Technically, we review it bi-weekly, but we but do watch still, the episodes yes, weekly. We do watch our own shit because we watch it when it drops, like they do. No, yep. We, um, I'm not just talking about Power Rangers. I'm just talking about in general. If you see something and you have no expectations, so like when you go there, it's like you know, I think this is gonna suck, but and then you watch it, you're like, hey, well, and you're starting to watch it. It's like yeah, I was right, but then. But then so all of a sudden he goes, oh my god, my expectations were blown away because all I could do was go up from there. It I went into anymore. Dragon Ball with no expectations. Dude, I went into, I went into Dragon Ball with no expectations. And when Dragon Fantastic- Ball started and that dude in the front row goes, where's Frieza? And the whole, the whole <laughs> fucking room laughed. We knew that the movie was garbage, and all we had seen was the Earth. Dude, the first words that came out of their mouths, we were like, oh my god, we were right. Yeah. Piccolo was master of the Ozaru, and no. we were like, oh fuck. I think somebody was like, oh I even, fuck. I, that, yep. I even think somebody was like, no. Yeah, somebody did. Somebody in the audience was like, no. <laughs> like, that movie Talent. started. He freaking was like, did they even read the Yeah, book? we got halfway through the movie and Talon just fucking blew up, dude. He was like, did they even read the fucking book? Like, <laughs> it's like, dude, it was fucking great. And then, obviously, I went in and I had very low expectations of that Fantastic Four movie. I left. I remember we left this house saying, you want to go see a bad movie? And it still managed to disappoint us. <laughs> then, and then just recently, I saw the new Ghostbusters, and when I when I rented it, I was like, I'm going to be disappointed. And so I watched it, I was like, well, it's a good thing I was right. <laughs> I was like, oh. I was like, oh, I'm you, so you got happy so about many that. cameos. I, I'm so, That's so happy. That's cool. I'm so, there's, so happy that you were disappointed. There's one good thing that came out of Fantastic Four. Doom guy. Two good things that came out of Fantastic <laughs> Four. <laughs> What's that? Stan Lee cameo. From this point on, I will forever be able to reference Doom guy. Yep. His That's powers what I- are whatever the script calls for. Yep. Whenever it's needed. That is a very powerful power. That's a good power yes, to have. It is. The Stop. second thing that comes. Don't <laughs> view that plot hole. The good, the other there good thing that came out of this is that from this point on, I will ever, I will forever remember the adventures of Springman, Pilot Light Boy, sometimes their girl, 
and naked rock man. <laughs> dude, dude, that is like the. They shouldn't even have called it the Fantastic Four. They should have called it something else. Because let me tell you something. While That's because four, it was another were, fucking movie. While there were four of them, there was nothing fantastic about it. <laughs> they should have called the movie Four. And then we would have went in there like, um, this looks like Fantastic Four. Then we watch it like, oh, I probably would have enjoyed it more if it was just called Four. Like, this has right. nothing to do with Fantastic Four. It was Four. influenced by Fantastic Four. Hey, by, the, by the way, roughly. I, by roughly. the way, I roughly. finally, I finally thought of the fourth movie that was big disappoint. What? Um, actually, technically five now. Technically, Hi, the Alan. other two movies are. Batman v Superman, uh, the theatrical cut, because oh, okay. the theatrical okay. cut sucks cock. Okay. And then Suicide Squad, once again, theatrical oh. cut, because everybody bitched about that shit, too. Okay, I'll Can't say this. Say nothing on that oh, yet, because the, the extended edition There's, not There out is yet. no extended edition. Oh. It has been released by DC that there is no plans to release the footage that is supposedly missing. Really? Well, it comes out next week. On supposedly, the out. S- supposedly that uh that that footage that is missing, the big chunk that is claimed to have been filmed for the Joker and things like that, it's not happening. It's not going to be on the. It's not going to be on the release. What yeah, probably the... because uh, Joker is supposed to be beating the shit out of Harley Quinn and treating her like shit. And they're By like, the way, oh, even that though movie, he's a villain, we don't want to do that. That movie's a fifty percent for me because the half of the movie when it's beginning. That movie's really good. Then the movie starts happening, and that movie goes to shit fast. What about fast. the I'll Avatar, the last Airbender live-action movie? That yes! Movie garbage. I don't even count that shit. Garbage. Okay, so well, I just listed no, it. Thank you one. for that, yeah. because now, uh, yeah, I had low expectations now, of that. Now, this is exactly... Now, look, we're, we're just sitting here dogging movies, and we're supposed to be talking Power Rangers, but this is part of Power Rangers. Yep. This is a reboot. That does not look necessarily promising. They darked up the Fantastic Four. Yep. Ass. They darked up Dragon Ball Z. Ass. Ass. Like, they darked darked up Airbender. I knew it was going to be garbage, so I didn't even watch it. I have a, I mean, okay, you know, to be fair, I've seen these pictures of Alpha. And when I seen him, I'm like, you know what? We're going to talk about it on the show, so I'm just going to. <laughs> you were like, down. yeah, it. But, uh, no, believe me, I, I, I know the feeling because somebody posted something in the group page, and I think it was the new 2017 Rangers, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden there was a couple comments. Like one dude was like, "Yeah, I don't know about these guys," and I was like, "Motherfucker, time to do my job." Let's look at these costumes and try to review them from one fucking dude, picture. Dude, when those pictures, like, when we get oh, wait, those pictures, I'm looking forward to talking about those guys. Yeah, I know. Those guys, to me, those guys look awesome. And I'm not giving away my opinion right off the bat till I see more more pictures. Yeah. But I'm looking forward to that costume alone, the new uh, 2017 guys. Yeah. Anything, yep. Dude, they look they fucking look sweet. Awesome. But my question for you, this new Power Rangers movie is... Have we, I mean, maybe I missed it, or maybe they haven't released it yet, but have we seen what Zordon's going to look like? No. Nope. No. We have one trailer, that's it. The uh, Yeah, I was about to say, the only thing we've seen from Zordon is the same shit we saw for Alpha, which was concept art. And, and I'll tell you that... concept art Alpha and looked that, fucking awesome. And now we yeah. have this. Not as much. This is not what we saw yes. in that concept picture. Oh, and we've seen more of the oh, Zords, I'm wondering which how- concept art... Was fairly I'm okay, other than the T Rex having a giant skylight where you could stab through and kill I'm the just, motherfucker. Uh, I would also like to thank Scott for my favorite GIF that I use all the time now. By the way, forgetful Toriyama. Nope, my awesome fucking happy. Oh uh, yeah, Zordon, Zordon. Derpin. Derpin <laughs> Zordon. <laughs> my, my biggest I love thing that. about it is, is like, while they screwed up Alpha, and you could sit there and say that they screwed up the Rangers costumes yes, and everything. They did. You really have to try to fuck up a head in a jar. It's Hollywood. It's not it's succeeded. It, Hollywood. You, saw, you can do it. Shane. Oh, can do it. Shane. You have to try. Shane. They put Clearly Goku they in high school. Shane. That's the whole problem. They didn't try hard enough. They Hold put up. Goku in high school and killed his best friend off. Yeah, that's kind of true. However, we also saw concept art of Zordon. Zordon is a, a floating head. He's the entire body in okay. the fucking tube. Yeah, but here's concept. the thing. But if we've learned here's anything, the thing. look the at him. 
is never. Yeah, I know. So that concept art, as far it's as I'm concerned, void. that was just a picture. Yep. Yep. It's so a head in a jar. So yeah. Now it's pretty bad give when us the concept one art thing that you don't fuck the- up. Real thing. It's not me, dude. It real. It truly is not that fucking difficult. Evidently, put it a is. Jar, put a head, <laughs> Zordon. Look, Impossible, I would like Shane. to. I would like to agree with you, Shane. But if Fantastic Four has taught me anything, <laughs> it's not always as easy as it looks. Yeah. I guess. Bill, you're gonna make me look up Fantastic <laughs> Four pictures by talking about <laughs> Fantastic Four. <laughs> Can we just next and go to the next image instead? <laughs> no. Please. Okay. Oh, then. Man. Great. Now. Boo. Look, okay. I'm, I'm, li- I'm, I'm willing to, to say. You. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't like the new concept of Alpha, but I'm not going to lie to you. I never really cared for Alpha, period. Okay. I was just about yeah. to say, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to say that our original Alpha was cheap, sad-looking thing. Right actually, actually, if you want to go to the very First Alpha, it was even it, worse looking. Yeah, I remember that yeah. in the it, episode zero zero, yeah, the, basically the, the lost pilot. Yeah, I just don't. I just never cared for Alpha's design. I mean, but look at him. This is nineteen fifties influenced robot. Well, like, yeah. Okay, you got to think. Lost in space is what they were. They were gimmicking right, something. Right. They were gimmicking like he's got the dome head. That's lost in space. He's got mm. the. Washer tubing arm, lost in space. Mm-hmm. He's got the box body, lost in space. Man, this I, is how robots those, work. Those, that was a good movie, man, Those tube arms, when I watched that show, man, I thought those things were going to fall off. And they're supposed, to, they're, they're supposed yeah. to be cheap. Like, there was something about robots at that point, and it's, for some reason, there's been better robots and there's been worse robots, but yeah. there was something about the 1950s science fiction robot design that kind of led us into Lost in Space and whatnot, that is just kind of, it somehow survived the test of time. It's become like a weird gimmick. But this thing? What the fuck? It's going to be hard to see this oh, thing oh, hold survive on, hold on. the test of time. For, Scott just reminded me, oh. now we need to steal from Jabba Wrestling yeah. Corner. What the fuck city? There we go. We got our own memes, motherfucker. Yeah, they really do. They do. They have their own I'm thing. I'm lost on that. I only... Okay, here's the thing. Every, like, four or five episodes, I listen to a jobber all the way through to guarantee their quality, and then I move on. Well, I've already... Because it's, it's not my thing. I'm not wrestling. Yeah, I but I do, I do listen to their show at least once I every four or five episodes. I mentioned before that, no offense to them, I'm not into wrestling. No, that's So I, I can't because... They'll talk about stuff. I'm like, I really don't know. For those of you that are interested, you go to phantomnight.com. There's this thing called Jabba Wrestling Corner. You can get some wrestling things. There's also a thing called What's Up Fandom Night where we like to discuss all the side projects that that we're working on. Like uh, fan interactions. Self-promotion. We're just plugging. That definitely was. That's exactly what that was, Shane. we're just plugging. A plugging, a plugging. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's because we got to. Got Mm -hmm. to plug. Speaking of plug-in, how do you think they charge Alpha? Um, he runs uh, on a he runs on a uh, solar energy because they actually used to have to charge Alpha. Oh, yeah, there was no, a cord yeah. they plugged into him, and Wait. he went and stood in the corner. Wait, I just realized something. What in the trailer? They went deep underwater, and if the base is in there, how is he going to be sol- solar powered? He's water powered. Shh, he's solar powered. He has a <laughs> hold on a minute. Hold on a, a minute. Head. If the command center is underwater, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm being honest. Might be why he looks gel jellish in the What stomach. if what if the alien race that designed him and for that matter the one that Zordon came from is amphibious? Then the design Oh god, you're no. going no. 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 Fuck Aquatar. <laughs> no. Right. Oh, but god. it would tie as much as I don't like it, it would tie into the original Power Rangers and it would give credence to why he looks like that. Then his design would make a this, lot more sense. Do yeah. you see all this hater? I've been holding in this piss that for a minute. I'm going to go now because I need to face palm like a motherfucker after I'm done pissing. Actually, it looks like Alpha needs piss too. It, it would tie it back into our series. It would give legitimate. It would give legitimate reason because here's the thing. Alpha and Zordon always bothered me for one reason. They claim to be aliens. This alpha looks like an alien now. You can make alpha in your fucking garage. These aliens look like something out of the 1960s Star Trek. 
And the reason aliens looked like that in the 1960s Star Trek is because we had no money. The second we had money, all those aliens like the Klingons and shit became aliens. They became alien. Zordon always looked like a bald dude in a tube. Yeah. Always. He never looked alien. There was something wrong about him. He's like, hey, I'm a wizard, and I'm from a completely different world. I'm an alien. I look exactly like you. Maybe your technology that keeps your head afloat might be alien, but that's really about it. That's it. The only thing alien about Zordon in the command center was the technology they he used. He looked like a, a floating ghost head. In water. Human. Yeah. It was a, yeah, he was, a, he was, he a, was human. And then, yeah. then, then when they made the uh, movie and you saw a full-bodied Zordon, he looked like a bald dude wearing... Yeah, he was still human. A weird nighty. All the aliens in the Ranger universe, and here's the reason it doesn't make sense. It makes even less sense when you looked at Power Rangers because of this. When we were introduced to other aliens, they looked like Lord Zed, Goldar, all those monsters. Other aliens would come into the show, and they looked like, I don't know, aliens. But Zordon looked like a dude. If they're aliens, and if they're amphibious... Even the common Rider. Right. Or yeah. Even Master he was Rider, just Master like Rider. a dude. Except which, for like little stuff here and there. But. Right. So if we're going to make them alien, I'll say this. If I have to give a positive, Alpha now does... He gives me the appropriate idea... Of an alien. Of alien. That maybe he is an amphibious alien design. If they go with that route then I'll be okay with the design because it is an amphibious looking design. Right, at least explain but it to it me. But if it does not, if that's not what they go with, then it's an, it's, it's, it's an awful piece of shit. Basically, it's a 50-50 shot. 50-50 right. 50 chance yeah. of us actually like, of us actually going, okay, I get you, I get you. Next. No, Another no, one of these. The more I think about it, technically that is a better theory. It looks so amphibious though because... You know, those long arms are really good for swimming if need be. The fuck, I mean, you know what it reminds me of? What? I don't want to say it reminds me of a diving suit because of the dome head, but, like, there's no such, I mean, putting a fucking dome helmet. I get you. But, like, yeah. it kind of, if you've changed the fucking head a little bit, it seems like that would be, like, a fucking kind of, like, futuristic diving suit. Next. Me. That's what I think. Oh, look, um. But, like, if you look Next. at the old Alpha... Oh, whoa. oh, here's the toy. These toys oh. are just bad, dude. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Well, These toys are just it's bad. It's a toy for McDonald's Happy Meals that they're going to package and sell for, like, 20 bucks to now your you kid. See. Now you see. They, saw they didn't even get the color right. Yeah, I know. Dude, they got <laughs> nothing right. Like, the, you could have at least... Listen, toy company... You could at least get the fucking color right. Where the hell is the blue? The, they didn't even get the hands and feet right. Where's the blue? Where's the Nothing. black? Where's that orangey, weird, crazy color? Uh, I can't help but laugh at this. Those anybody are... up for a bonfire? That's the only colors they have. Uh, maybe later. So they're just like, I'll ah, work with it. We don't care. Nobody's going to buy this shit. Next. Anyway. I'm still sitting oh, over love here. Love it. That and is here, cool. Is I that love is it. Cool. And the wand. Yeah, which, yep, by green. the way, theory confirmed. Okay, they did So far, right. they still haven't confirmed it. Yeah, it's not a hard confirmation. But the wand but has the bl the green coin. I'm almost 100% sure that we are seeing the green Rita. Yep. And it could explain. I think something about her anatomy, she can't do what they can do, which would be a reason for her to find something about a the green anatomy. ranger. Motherfucker, zoom into the wand. What about it? Anatomy, nothing. Go into it. Look, it's not even out of the crystal and shit. No, but it's but she can't transform the way yeah. they do. Yeah, I know, but that's There's, what I'm saying. You have to give a reason for why. Like, if she already has the green power, she would never find some kid and give it to him. Yeah. She would never do that. There has to be a reason. She might not have full access to the green yeah, power. Right. I don't, think, I don't think she can access it. I it's think something in her awesome. anatomy keeps her away from accessing the energy. So she's going to have to give that to some kid on Earth. Mm-hmm. As a soldier for her empire. Yep. Yep, but that's what I'm getting at. Since it's still in the crystal, all she can do is siphon off a little bit of the energy. 
the kids manage to get the coins out of the fucking the, the crystal. I don't think they ever do because even inside of their little thing, it still looked crystally. I agree mm-hmm. with you. I agree with you. I love this outfit. But you love it for other reasons. I think she looks awesome. It's terrifyingly awesome and hot. That's there it that's, is. That's more the correct is. answer for you, Shane. Yeah, but I think she looks awesome. Yeah. I really do. I'm looking. Well, the, she's the biggest thing I'm looking forward to. Dude, no. I was telling um, I was talking to somebody at work about it, and um, where was it? Was it at work? I can't remember who I was talking about with. And I said that the, the the new Power Rangers movie, when you look at the Rita that we had back then, she looked like a fucking joke. I mean, she I could, was a joke. I, I couldn't yeah. take her seriously. This looks. Genuine. From what we wait, saw in the wait, trailer, wait, she up. is serious. Wake yeah. up! In, wait, no, I'm talking like wake up! Like, like you know that trailer where she's right in front of Kimberly's face. Wake up to this terrifying woman in your fucking room. Now wake up to the old Rita with her Madonna boobs and her giant white, you wake poofy, up. weird devil <laughs> you'd, spike you'd hair. You wake up, look at her like get out, and then roll. And over. she would, you would, you would wake up, and she would scream in your face. She'd be like, "I've killed but Rangers if too." Rita, if this Rita showed up in your bedroom. You sure as hell wouldn't be terrified. Yeah, I think he would, actually. Yeah, she, he would. If, if she was floating above his bed, fucking rubbing his face with her claws. Basically, I'm sleeping, in, I'm REM sleeping, and I'm, I feel this, and I'm like, what, what, what? <laughs> and there's a, yeah. there's a super hot fucking bitch floating over me. That's Dragon terrifying. lady. Yeah, there yeah. you go. And she's all bleeding and shit. Look at her. She's all damaged. Yeah. She looks like she's been through hell. Yeah. Ah, after 10,000 years, I'm free. She is probably going to be the saving grace of the movie. Well, I, I'm considering hoping... Considering that she's yeah. a pretty big actress. Or in she's going to have to hold this thing together from what I've seen. Let's see. Well, now, I will say, if the kids start fighting... We've and seen images of them fighting. One, one of the biggest things about Power Rangers was not all the costumes and shit. It's the martial arts. Yeah. It's always like martial artists fighting evil things. And for some reason, Power Rangers does it better than any other people. There's been competitors that have made the attempt, and they focused on costumes and super lasers and dumb shit, and it hasn't worked for them. Beetleborgs. Yeah, like Beetleborgs was more about the giant costumes here in America, or and it didn't work. Or Rider. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't work over yeah. here. Because they focused more on that costume and super lasers and riding the motorcycle than they did on the part you that mattered. You are right, though, dude. You are right. Like, if anything, we looked at all the costumes so far and what Alpha looks like. And if and it, we, we, this is the only Boo. one. This is the only one that I can be like, dude. The original was so bad that you know this is definitely a step up. Like, I like the design. I mean, this is basically, so far, the best thing coming out of this Ranger movie. Next. Agreed. Oh, dude, she's so awesome. Look at her. Mm-hmm. Hey, look, and the coin is glowing. Literally terrifying. She's still got that weird smug thing that Rita had going on, too. Shit, man. I mean, Bandora was always smug. Yeah, but look at her. Like, she's, I'm, she is something I'm looking forward to in this movie. Dude. Yeah. I like that wand, though. That is, like, the wand that she had before looked like somebody put it together in their fucking bedroom. This thing <laughs> looks awesome, Like I don't know why. Maybe the whole gold with the green uh, um, energy thing, in the, like, whether or not that's the fucking dragon coin or whatever. <coughs> I think it looks, I, I like the design of the staff. For Next. Sure. And here's the newest poster. Okay, let's see. Weak. We have. Yeah. That's what I said exactly. Weak. Well, let's see. There's the saber tooth tiger. There's the pterodactyl. There's the tyrannosaurus. And way back in the in the foggy area, is the look at that thing. Yes, I see it. That's the saber tooth tiger. I do see the saber tooth tiger. Oh, I can kind of see it. No, let me tell you this, Bill. I want to know. We've seen all these now. If you had to have a favorite, what is it? What's my favorite? Yeah. That. The pterodactyl actually looks cool for the first time ever. Yeah, well, yeah. The, look I'm, at it. I'm sorry. 
It's kind of that. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm, Look I'm at it. Foggy. It's like a fighter jet. It's yes. coming out of the sky. It actually has but segmented built, wings, built, missiles, lasers. Compared to the original, couldn't have done worse. That thing sucked. Couldn't have done worse, really? Because ter- I'm looking at ter- this. I'm looking at this right here, with the ter- and I'm thinking they what? managed to do worse on everything else, like the mastodon that has like eight fucking legs. It's for extra walking faster from the Arctic. Why does the mastodon have like eight legs? More than that, actually. It's like yeah. it's I like it one, two, three, legs. four, five, six. It's like, I thought it had six legs. I think it has. Yeah, you know, I think it is eight legs. I really do. I think there's three on the front and three on the side here, three. and then there's two hind legs. I was going to say. See, I thought I, I saw like six on each see. side. I know you. I know you hate the tyrannosaurus. And look at that thing. Yeah. What about the what about the what about the triceratops? I can't remember what it looked like because I remember we can't, those we can't really see. Uh, if I remember correctly, the triceratops was kind of fifty fifty. Next, because it looks like it's got machine yeah. guns for Back the two forward pointing horns. Okay, but like the normal horn looks like a fucking you replaced a uh, uh, yay boobies. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, wow. Bill was flipping through his folders. I got distracted. Wow. Everybody loves boobies. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, the fucking the front horn that's supposed to be like the rhino horn, they replaced it with like a fucking blade. So, looking forward to it? Well, yeah. thank you for asking, Bill. Um, I'm going to go in there with no expectations, and I'm going to leave disappointed. So, that's whatevs. We still have till like March. Life, right? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm preparing myself months ahead of time. Still have till March. They could still release more stuff to, disappoint. Yeah. to either good, disappoint or sway us. Hopefully good stuff, since everything else has been shit. <sighs> I, like, I like what I saw with Rita, and I, I still can't bring myself to necessarily hate what I see coming out of the... Um, the Rangers? The Rangers, because well, I saw that coming. Well, Bill, we got to see Zordon. Well, Bill, and, and Bill does like one out of the five Zords, so... Well, here's, here's the I other thing. I can't see many of them. I don't like that Tyrannosaurus from what I've seen, and I do not care for that saber-toothed tiger I just saw. How hard is it? They've been doing Voltron since the fucking 80s, 70s, right? What is Voltron? Did he start in the 60s, maybe? 70s, I think. Is he a 70s thing? Possibly. I think he's a 70s thing. You How can they fuck up it up? Be a minute. How? How can they fuck it up? They have You'd redone Voltron over and over and over and over and over and over and over. They are always lion kitty things every time. And even when they brought even when they brought the fucking Power Rangers, the reason the reason we got the Zoot Rangers uh, was first because of one reason. Date was September the tenth of nineteen eighty four. So okay, it was it's a fucking eighties cartoon. Right. Yep. The reason we got Power Rangers the way we did was actually because of the saber toothed tiger. Supposedly, when he seen it over there, he immediately related it to Voltron. And when he brought it over here and he tried to explain it to the actors that he got together and everything, Austin St. John said that he started filming it and he was like, "I really don't know what we're doing." And he was he was kind of doing his thing, and he was just making a paycheck, basically. And he said he saw the Zords transform, and he said, Oh, it's Voltron! Even the actors in the show knew what we were referencing. They knew what we were going after. And then you take the one fucking standard piece that references to Voltron, and you fuck it up? Yeah. Holly- That's what brought the actors Hollywood. on board. This movie is starting to bother me piece by piece. And you can't think, move this far away from the fucking subject matter. Yeah, but just think, we still have to see a Zordon, and we have to hear how both Zordon and Alpha are going to sound. And if there's a Goldar. Yeah, then we have to figure out oh, if it's going to be any other villains putties. other than just Rita. We've yet to see Putties, we've yet to see a oh, Goldar, yeah, yeah, we've yet to see a monster, we've yet to see anything. We don't need and a, we don't we've need yet a, we to see a, a monosphere with a palace on it. We've seen high school drama bullshit. Need a monosphere palace. That's the other thing that's a little bothersome, too, is let's be honest. Nobody at our age watched the Power Rangers for its great dramatic tellings. We watched it because there were monsters and we were going to go kick them. 
the, you there was also a couple of, yeah, of uh, want to be douchebag kids that you we were would five. Dump chili I didn't even on. Damn about you the were five. Drama. She was three. You were I five. Was I was what nine? nine. Why did I watch that show? Man, because y'all are old. because kicking, punching, cutting, jumping monsters. <laughs> Except for Michelle. And giant awesome robots. That's why I watched it, because I saw mon- I saw a giant robot fighting a giant monster. And let us be honest, even when we understand storylines later in life, like where I am now, okay, I have no shame, I'm 32 years old, I'm still watching some Super Sentai, I don't care. And you know what? One of the main reasons I still watch it is because monsters, jumping, cutting, kicking, martial arts, explosions, explosions giant robots. Dude things. Dude things. Now, I pay attention to the story more than I did before. Yeah. And I often have to remember what Zordon tells to me. That way I can enjoy it. Because Zordon let me know a long time ago not to view that plot hole. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's part of the script. And I have to. Because holy shit. (laughs) Yeah. I am interdimensional. Right. <laughs> oh, and you're forgetting you're forgetting the other major thing Zordon likes to say. No. Stop. Stop. Don't push that button. Like I'm telling you. You almost became a Ranger sandwich. <laughs> oh wait. Uh, he raised That's my Barry. viewing history. I'm telling you, this is one of those things. Tune to Kimberly's bathroom. The movie's worried. charge. So far, I'm worried about the movie. I you're am. worried about the movie. I know you're worried I'm about the movie. I'm very disappointed in this shit. I'm hoping that the next trailer improves it. I'm still waiting for the rest to pass judgment. From what I've seen so far, most of it is going to suck ass. But considering the fact that they're going out of their way to be like, Oh, by the way, high school fuck fuck drama. Oh, good, I'm so glad I left high school in 2007. I figured I could leave that shit behind me. Just to let people know how open-minded I really am, I enjoyed the Michael Bay's Ninja Turtles. I don't care. Eh, I enjoyed it. it that was, first it, movie, it I liked it. Fun sections, I, oh yeah, that's I liked watching shit, Splinter yeah. fight. I liked the way the turtles were. I was okay with the fact that they were giant. Wasn't quite what I grew up with. And by the way, I read... The original black and white Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, okay? My first comic books... Were they bulletproof? My first comic books, yes, they actually were. Yeah. Bullets used to bounce off Leonardo's shell, yes. Yes. Hmm. In the original comic books, years ago, my mother had... We had a neighbor, and he collected comics, and my mom went over there one day, and she came back with two boxes, because this dude was tossing out books. And the very first books I ever had... The things that started me on comic books were Tales from the Crypt, Old Black and White, (laughs) and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's what she brought over. There was also some Superman and some Batman in there. That's what started me on comic books. So, the fact that I'm willing to accept change, I am. If you could explain it, and it still has the correct attitude. The attitude is the most important thing. The Ninja Turtles still felt... Like the Ninja Turtles. They were kind of goofy. Raphael was a dick. Leonardo took things a little too seriously. Michelangelo was obviously still a little kid. And Donatello didn't really fit in with anybody. It worked. Not saying April O'Neil worked. (laughs) Most of the rest of what I was watching in that movie didn't quite work. But the Turtles, they felt right. The Brotherhood. The Brotherhood worked for me. Casey Jones totally worked. You mean the cop. Don't you dare look at me like that. You know damn well that Arrow was awesome. Arrow just doesn't cross over well. No. He just needs to stay in his own show is the he, only problem. He, he, he shouldn't even be in the wrestling ring either, so... Yeah, he just yeah. doesn't do crossovers well. He's very much a solo act. He should stay on t- the TV stations like CW and Fox and You mean the Shirtless CBS. Boy Network? Sure. <laughs> There's a reference for people who listen to other podcasts oh, like man. we do. <laughs> no, it's... Uh, I don't know. 
I'm willing to accept change. I am. But for me, I, I can't because of all the bad reboots I've had to sit through getting force-fed the trailers over and over when I know the trailers are shit and makes me think the movies are going to be shit, which is why I didn't go see Fantastic Four, didn't go see Ghostbusters, and I watched Dragon Ball Evolution, fucking hated it. The only good way to watch it is if you can download that So I have an honest question for you. Riff track thing. I have an honest question for you. This is going to be a tough one, I know. Uh-oh. No, no, no. I, I'm not... I'm not being an ass. I really am not. This might sound like it, but please name a good reboot. Because you do have me very curious what you accept as a modern-day equivalent done right. Good. Good reboot. Yeah. Yeah. A reboot that you actually enjoyed, thought that it did very well as compared to the, uh, the older version. Reboot, remake, whatever. Because technically you can only reboot a series, not a single. Yeah, it's kind of That's true. a remake. Still pondering. Uh, I, I, I can think... Well, concerning it's Christmas time, I was going to say some of the Christmas ones, but... Like the, the Christmas carols that they always redo over and over again. You'd have me lost there, to be fair. I don't. I don't watch a lot of Christmas movies. It's not. It's nothing. To, I mean, if they're on TV or something like that, and Gwen wants to watch them, or if, or if Michelle what, wants yeah. to watch them, whatever. Well, there, but it's, it's either the Chris, a Christmas Carol, the Christmas Carol, Muppets Christmas Carol, Mickey's Christmas Carol. Because guess what? It's all got the same theme, the same plot. Okay. Yeah, so, but technically, all that is is that's a retelling of an old story. You know what I mean? Well, that's just, that's the kind reason, of the same thing of like... The reason I'm curious is like this. Like, okay, do you think that when we left Sam Raimi and we went to the Andrew Garfield films, were those a proper reboot? Were they done... I think it was done too soon, but regardless, were those good? I mean, are they done well? Or is that a no-no? And then... It, it, see, see, because... For me, it was like a... I don't think yeah. I've ever... I don't think I've ever once, in the time that I've known you, I don't think even one time... I have heard you praise a remake, remastery, or redesign of anything. I don't think I've seen it. Wouldn't the um, newest uh, Mad Max be considered a reboot? No, it, I thought that was no, continuing. It is, it's, it's, it's technically it's new it's actors, but I think it continues yeah, yeah. what was laid down because before. That's all I needed to know because... I probably would have said that, because I did see the new one. Pretty sure that's a continuation. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure it is, but, because technically what it is is, uh, if I remember correctly, Mad Max is basically like Zorro, when you think about it. Like, it's fucking, it started out as, like, film serials, mm -hmm, okay. and then changed. It's I, either I, it started I'm as film serials, or see if it started there's anything as that movies. Comes to my mind. <laughs> or not movies, but as right. books. I, I got mean. one. The Star Trek movies. They're a good reboot. I mean, they're not they're not perfect, but they're a good reboot. Those mm. fall into a real gray category too cuz they're not a reboot. Yeah. Uh, technically those do take place after all the other movies. Yeah. yeah because you... the old Spock goes back and that creates an alternate timeline, yeah, but I'm, it doesn't actually I'm negate sorry. the existence of the original. I, I, I think there's one that Let's I have to uh, I think I might have one. Let's go with. Uh, I think your, I might. Your what? Man. Even though I might regret it. Okay. <laughs> the Bay Turtles. I didn't hate it. I'm sorry. I I can't say the second one was as good as that first one, but the first the first Bay Turtles. Look, let's be honest. Ninja Turtles are from a fucking comic book. So explosions, fighting, kung fu, fucking look. That's what it was. Hell, the book started with a fight. The very first issue of Turtles is them in an alleyway surrounded by the purple dragons ready to throw down. Yeah. And the throwdown happens on, like, page two. Yeah, because you know, page one is Leonardo in the middle of a monologue describing you know, the Turtles you, uh, as fucking sausages ready to burst. <laughs> now that you actually, like, said what is a good reboot, and I know I've seen a bunch of reboots... I'm gonna tell you one I enjoyed. For the life of me, I can't remember any. I could, I could tell you two that I enjoyed that nobody else seems to like. What's that? Halloween. I did like the first Halloween. Surprisingly, I haven't seen those. Otherwise, I don't I like Halloween would. too. 
I didn't even bother. But Rob it. Zombie made that bad on purpose. Look it up. I did not see it. Yeah, yeah, that's because if I remember correctly, he didn't want to do it too, and they basically forced him into I watched, it. So he said, "Okay, I'll do it." I yeah. watched the original and purposely made it a bunch of dog shit. See, yep. I yeah. watched the original Halloween, and then I watched the the Rob Zombie reboot. And the reboot tells a lot more about Michael Myers, like, how and it he... actually grows that yes, character instead yes. of one day, Shows one up. day sister boobs stabbing bad guy. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, so, and say what you will, it was an independent film, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna demean the original for, Halloween. Give it props yeah. for what it did. But I think that the, I think that Rob Zombie's yep. Halloween deserves some credit, and also I like Friday the Thirteenth Killer Cut. At the beginning of that movie, that when Jason movie? when Jason began running, oh yeah, that was yeah, already, yeah. I was I liked. I thought it was like so a continuation. No, it doesn't continue. No, it definitely it definitely negates the original story factors. Yeah, it takes it replaces it replaces Friday the Thirteenth too. Yeah, I will definitely because Friday the Thirteenth because part the one mother thing be the mother thing already happened. In fact, they redo that. In the start of Killer well, Cut, they redo the end of. Knows that, yeah. that his mom was the killer in the first movie. Yeah. So, so basically, the the Friday the Thirteenth Killer Cut reboot movie replaces the second movie of the franchise. Which yeah, it's okay. That I did like because I have watched Friday the Thirteenth, and I'm like, dude, this guy is so stupid. How about you run? And I know that's a, it's a small thing. It's cliche yeah. ignorance, but it made him more. It, technically, it made him more ferocious. Reboots are hard to do. Let's just be honest here with what yeah. it is. Now, yeah. It is hard to take something that already exists and already has a fan base and then tell that fan base, hey, this is cool too. Okay, let me ask you this then. Let me ask you this. Ready? I know. With Man of Steel a reboot? Yes. Man of Steel is a reboot. It does not continue yeah. the continuity that is laid the, down the, by the four Superman movies. The yeah, the only the continuity... By the five Superman movies. Yeah, Superman Returns was a somewhat continuation. It, it continues by replacing the chronology of part three. Part three never happened. So that becomes the third movie. Oh, no. Yep. You missed part three. <laughs> yes, I didn't say. I, now I didn't say that all four Christopher movies are good. Two out I said of four they, are good. I said that they are. Well, technically, you could say the saga. Of his you, movies are good. The Man of you Steel. Could say three out of five. Man of could. Steel. Man of Steel, without a doubt, is. Oh, and Supergirl is tied in with that. That's part of his continuity, as bad as it is, because they reference that he is on the Earth, Jimmy Olsen, and that he's he's and Jimmy busy. Olsen. Dude, you're yeah. right. But see, nobody cares about that awful. Movie. No, I'm just saying that's a part of the saga. <laughs> right, no, now, you, Man I of get, Steel, Man of Steel deletes the entire saga and starts it anew. Man of Steel is a reboot. Wait, so wait. I think I got okay. it. It was an okay movie. I, mean, oh I, I do. Here's my there are hold a lot up. Of I, Scott's got something. Oh, I don't God. like Henry Cavill as Superman. I don't think he's. What's I don't think light, he bulb? smiles enough. I think I got a full reboot that I liked. What's that? What? Remember the old. Well, most of you guys probably don't remember, but there was an original cartoon animated Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I remember that. It yeah. was based more on the books, if I remember right, than yeah. the uh, and movies. And I love the live action movie better. Can't argue with that. Yeah, I really can't because the animation is that's pretty that's pretty tough. That that's a hard animation no. to sell to somebody. If you want to yeah. talk about? Yeah, but considering the fact that the uh, animation that was done at the time, I I can't remember the name of the guy who did it, but basically he's the same guy who redid our Mighty Mouse. Let me tell you this: when I can't you, think of his fucking name right now, and it's driving Spider-Man me insane. Over the Raimi Spider Man, there were parts of the reboot that I liked more. I thought that Spider Man was well done. Spider Man was well done in the Amazing. While Peter Parker was done better in the Raimi. Yeah, I think it's I think it's kind of like it is weird because I don't not, think Spider Man was very good in the Raimi movies. He seemed Andrew too Gar- stiff. Andrew Garfield made Spider Man fun, but I like but, but I like Peter. Peter yes, I think I, I, I think I sit on the same fence. I think yeah. that but, Toby was a better Peter. Here's yeah. the thing, though. and another thing, it's very easy. Gwen Stacy. Spider Man's too stiff in, in the Raimi movies. Like, while I liked, I just, I literally like two days ago, I watched all three Raimi movies in one night, and I will say this: Spider Man is very like he's like a boxer. 
He's very much like elbows and forearms and shit like that. And most of the fighting that he does is like at a standing point. Yep. He might jump on a guy's shoulders or something, but he's too stiff. Now, I will tell you this. Yeah. Now, when he's you very at... much like punch a guy, throw a guy, backhand a guy. Like, look at that. Look at that fight scene that he has when he fights the dudes to save Mary Jane in the rain. Yep. It's very much a standing boxing match. Where he does that, where he does that thing with both, where he knocks both of them. But out. Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, yep. Yep. he jumps and leaps and webs and rolls, and but that he's impossible to lock down. Too, when he's fighting Doc Ock, kind of. Now, he's thing. still very much. He still. Okay. He still. No, he still stands literally face to face with Doc Ock and blocks and punches and grabs him in the water. And yeah, uh, and does like the boxer punches. He's very much a stand down brawler. Now, yeah. I will say that, and that's uh, not what Spider Man is to be. I don't that. think Spider Man has been a stand up brawler since since the first hundred issues of Spider Man. I will tell you that when you look at the villains, like okay, I prefer William Defoe's Green Goblin over whatever they did in Amazing Spider-Man 2. Yes, even if he was yeah. wearing the dumb Power Rangers mask. I still prefer <laughs> William Defoe's fucking yes. Green, Green Goblin. Agreed. Now, it's not fair, but because she only made one appearance in one movie, and the movie fucking sucked, Gwen Stacy was obviously better and Amazing than she was in that one piece of shit movie. Here's something for you. Now that I've just rewatched these movies, I discovered something that kind of blows my mind. What's that? They took a blonde actress... Made her a redhead, and made her Gwen Stacy Mary Jane. Then, they took a redhead actress, made her blonde, and made her Gwen Stacy Mary Jane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because when Gwen Stacy is introduced in the third movie, she's a model. She's doing photo shoots. She's working on a possible acting career and building a portfolio. Uh huh. <laughs> but in amazing, she is. She's willing to kiss. She's willing to kiss on Spider Man right out in the open in front of all those people. She's adventurous and exciting. Yeah. But in amazing, she wants to. She wants to go to the dance, the dance jazz bar, and have a good time. <laughs> that's not Gwen Stacy, people. Yeah. No, so, uh, that's Mary, Mary Jane. Jane. Yep. But then you take the girl. You take the girl from Spider-Man in the first two movies, she's built more like Gwen Stacy. They forced that line, that go get him, Tiger, but it doesn't sound right because the attitude's not there. She's like kind of poor. She's trying to figure her life out. She might be going to college. Uh, she's having troubles in school. Questionable boyfriends. They kind of did an amalgamation of the two characters that centered more towards Gwen Stacy. Then they did an amalgamation of two characters that centered more towards Mary Jane. And it's really weird that they took a redhead actress and made her Gwen Stacy and a blonde actress and made her Mary Jane. Yep. So... All of those characters were wrong, to be fair. <laughs> like, yeah, I was about to say, the only love interest that he had that was correct wasn't even made a love interest in the movies. Like, if you want to get technical, the first love interest, like for this new reboot coming up, oh. should it shouldn't Betty. really be Mary Jane, it should be Betty. Yep. He should be interested in the girl that works at the newspaper, yep. the secretary. Right. Because Which, that's who he dated first. Uh, actually, we don't know anything about the daily. We don't. We don't really. Yet. I saw the trailer. We are way off topic, but it, we're we're kind of on topic and off topic. I just wanted to talk about reboots in general, since that's what this Power Rangers is. Mm -hmm. It is not. It is not what we were promised that it was going to. It was going to acknowledge former continuity because it's not. Oh, this is 100% oh, a reboot. Oh, you, you mean like a, like Ghostbusters, how their first trailer talked about four scientists, four friends who, 30 years ago... That trailer was a load of dog shit. Yeah, that was very obviously speaking, a reboot. Technically speaking, it was three scientists who were friends, and then they found a yeah. fourth dude to join them. Yeah. Wasn't no four scientists as four friends... Oh yeah, it it's was a three reboot. Scientists, three so friends, it was a reboot. Who a fucking job. Well, no, he, what he's talking about—it's really weird. That movie is a reboot, and the trailer claims that it's continuing continuity. 
Yeah. yeah. Yep. Then you watch the movie, and it's very blatantly a fucking reboot. Yep. So it's lies on top of lies. It's Hollywood. Right. The world. Bull fucking shit. No, they didn't. That never happened. It was never mentioned in the movie. Ever. No. Nope. Now, while all four... They signs. even showed that little part where the Ghostbusters symbol was painted on the subway station to try to act like it had happened already, and this was 30 years after. No. That trailer, the trailer actually makes a better movie. The trailer makes a better movie because it acknowledges that 30 years ago something happened, we needed that, yeah. and that for 30 years there's been no Ghostbusters and it's pretty much been laughed off like and maybe it was some sort of con artist gimmick. Yeah. Which it would have been fine if it would have been considered the greatest con of all time. Because they were looked at as con artists. Yep. So if the, if the third movie had said, fucking 30 years ago... These four guys put on this uh, spectacular con that basically, you know, made the city believe in ghosts and blah blah blah. They released toxic nerve gases through the sewers and uh, and they could have they could have said something because that's what people believed was happening anyway. Hell, the uh, the uh, protection agency, the fucking environmental the protection EPA, services, yeah. were after the Ghostbusters because they believed that noxious chemicals but. were in the Ghostbusters' basement and that they were nerve gassing people to see ghosts. But instead, damn it, Peck. Instead, we got a movie with four scientists and a uh, train station worker because because she, she wasn't a scientist. And yeah. they tried way too hard to be funny and failed. And well, you didn't think it was funny when that dude tried to answer the phone through the fish tank? Oh, no. Over no. and over and over? Oh, uh, no. See, maybe if they would have... See, that's not funny, period. So they tried way, I got something. way no, too hard. This is honest. Before we close out this episode, I do want to ask a question. What's For that? anybody that's defending Ghostbusters, and if they want to throw that little defense at me that says... Oh well, you're kind of sexist or something like that. Let me let me prove to you that Ghostbusters is a sexist movie. Sexist doesn't just mean we're attacking women. Name one competent male figure in the movie exactly. who's a good person. Exactly. Uh, yeah, see, there you go. Because the bad guy was actually kind of competent in a way. Good person. Good person. Good, reasonable male character in that movie. One. Name one. Yeah, that's a good question. Name one. Go ahead, people. No? No? Ernie Hudson. He showed up at the very end. He that most You might be hardcore pushing I'm it. I'm pushing it mm. hard. And even he's a moron. He gave away one of his hearsts and didn't come looking for it till after the movie and didn't know what his daughter was doing with it. What his what his cousin niece, or nephew niece. or niece or whatever I she was. She, I thought she just took it. Right. No, he gave it to her. Oh, he loaned oh, okay. it. Loaned it to her. Loaned. She stole it. Okay, yep, there we go. So, okay, never mind. I'm and sorry, he never, sorry, he to... never once asked questions. She showed up at the end of the movie being like, so, like, I kind of need my car because I'm running a business. And she's like, oh, yeah, that shit is gone. And he freaks out. Yeah. And he's a dumbass that never once bothered to figure out what they were doing with it and somehow never realized that they were the ones that were on the news as these Ghostbuster people. You know what? I, I only got one thing to say about those who support and approve this Ghostbusters movie. Really? Drop Name it. one I male could, character. I so really, far you have Ernie Hudson. I might let that one go. I can't even put Dan Aykroyd because he was just a meme. He was an asshole. Bill Murray was an... Un, he, he, he was an asshole. Yep. Ernie Hudson was the only one that wasn't an asshole because he truly had a reason to be pissed. The male, my car? the male characters are either assholes, incompetent, some kind of stupid. Dude, I watched, I watched Thor, and that's how I'm going to say it. I watched Thor try to answer a phone in a fish tank. I, I, I watched him. He had to. He should have been. In a fucking nursing home. Dude. He was so hardcore mentally incompetent, I, I refuse to believe that he could function. And then he... And he wasn't, he wasn't incompetent in a this-is-a-comedy-movie way. Like, he was suffering from mental retardation. He, there was... I don't know why they thought that would be funny, but it was not. 
In fact, it was sad. I well, felt, I felt real bad for him. That's this episode because we have two more of these that we have to get through. Bye, everybody. Later. Hey, guys, did you like that podcast? If so, remember to check out FandomNight.com. At FandomNight.com, you can drop a line to this show, or you can check out other podcasts as well. We cover all kinds of topics, everything from comic books, wrestling, movies, TV shows, video games, animes, mangas. It's outrageous. We seem to have a podcast for just about everything, and you have access to it just by going over to FandomNight.com. So check it out, guys. We're going to get out of here.